We have a community of almost 200,000 creative park builders, but who is the best? Ready, fight! Spoiler alert, it's not me. It is time for the next Battle of the Builders. What is Battle of the Builders? It's an event on the channel where you can submit your awesome Jurassic World Evolution 2 builds and win the coveted title of Best Builder and have your build showcased right here on the channel. Plus one million dollars. No, no, stop, stop that, stop. Just the title and the showcase. We've done a Battle of the Builders edition when the channel was at 40,000 subscribers and when we were at 100,000 subscribers. So now for the 200k edition, there's going to be more winners than ever. How do you participate in Battle of the Builders? All of the information is going to be in this video. So if you want to compete, make sure you watch the video in full. For starters, you need to be part of the official Evolution Square Discord, which is linked below, because that is where you will enter your submissions in the appropriate channels. For the 200k editions, there are five categories. Four of what we will call the small categories, and one big category with a full park build. We have best park entrance, best high security area, best enclosure, best pathwork, and best overall park. You can enter in every category if you want, but you can only enter once per category. So you can have a maximum of five submissions, five chances to win one of the titles. And each category will have multiple winners. The small categories will have an unmodded and modded winner. For the big full park category, there will be three winners, console, unmodded PC, and modded PC. There is only a separate console category for the full park because building a full park on console is more challenging than on PC. But for a small build, like just an entrance section, for example, the differences between the two aren't nearly as pronounced. That's manageable. And I really want to promote that we let go of the mindset that I see some people have that you can't build cool stuff on console and that you can't compete with PC builders because I've seen enough amazing stuff from console builders builders to know that that's not true. To enter in any of the categories, you don't need to build something brand new, especially for the competition. You can just submit an older build, whichever you think is your best build that fits the given category. It doesn't have to fit a certain theme. It doesn't have to be on a particular map or biome. Whatever is your very best, you can submit. And for any of the small categories, there can literally just be empty space around it. They don't have to be part of a full park build, although they could be if that's that's what you choose. You can build something for the competition specifically without having to worry about building all of the stuff around it. For example, like what I did with my park entrance ideas video. There's nothing else there. It's just the park entrance and that would be good enough to submit for the competition. But again, as I said, you can also submit your park entrance for a completed park build. Just make sure that your submission is focused on the entrance area. Some more information to help you figure out what qualifies for each of the categories. A park entrance area submission obviously has to include an entrance building, probably have a nice decorated plaza, maybe some amenities or even hotels, and it can include surrounding exhibits as well. Like what are the species that welcome your guests into the park? A high security area submission can include a couple of enclosures with lots of security precautions and an accompanying staff section. The best enclosure can be an enclosure of any type for any species or even multiple species. It can be a regular land enclosure, a lagoon or an aviary. But just like what I do for my exhibit speed builds, you should also think about the viewing opportunities and the accompanying guest area. A submission for best path work doesn't necessarily have to be elaborate path art, although clearly you'll score some points if that's something you can do. But just show an example of using path and the different path colors available in an interesting and inspiring way. Finally, the full park category can be any full park. It doesn't have to be huge, it just has to be awesome. While size does matter in making a build look more impressive, don't forget to focus on the details, which is super important. Once you've either picked a past build or built something brand new for the competition, you are going to capture it. And pay close attention because this has been a pitfall for many builders in past competitions. For any submission in these small categories, 
take a maximum of five screenshots of what you've built. At least one of those screenshots has to be an aerial overview shot. None of the five screenshots should just be dinosaur photographs. Your screenshots should be focusing on what you built, not which pretty dinosaur frontier or a modder made. For a submission in the full park category, you can submit a little bit more. You can take either 10 screenshots, again, one of which must be an aerial overview shot, or you can make a one minute video, which also should include at least one aerial overview. Obviously you can show off a lot more in a video, so it is what I would recommend, but if you can't make a video, 10 screenshots it is. This is going to be very challenging. I am not going to deny that. But by limiting the amount of screenshots slash video length that you can submit, you are really thinking carefully about how you are showcasing your build. Okay, so now that you've done your build and you've captured it in beautiful screenshots or a one minute video, it is time to enter your submission. Go to the Evolution Square Discord and go to the Battle of the Builders channels. There you will find a dedicated channel which summarizes the instructions and rules that are also in this video. There's also a chat channel where you can talk to other builders about the competition. And finally, there are five separate submission channels, one for each category. Put your submission in the appropriate channel. Your submission, of course, needs to include your screenshots or video. And you need to clarify if your submission is unmodded or modded or console PC unmodded or PC modded. That is all the information I need to consider you for Battle of the Builders, but you are also free to include a name of your park and a description as well, although it is not necessary. What is necessary is that you put all your screenshots and description in one message. This ensures that your entire submission is grouped together. To submit a video, you can upload your video on YouTube and share the link in the full park category channel. The Discord moderators will be moderating the submissions. Please don't make this unnecessarily hard on them by not following the rules and instructions. All of the information is in this video and in the rules and instructions channel in the Discord, so please don't submit anything without following those rules and instructions because unfortunately your submission will be deleted if you do. If you do still have any questions after watching this video or reading through all of the stuff on Discord, ask your questions in a comment below or in the Battle of the Builders chat channel on Discord. Don't just think to yourself, I don't really understand. I'm just gonna chuck some stuff into the submissions channel. How long do you have to enter? Well, good news. You have from right now, this very second, until January 1st, 2024 to enter the Battle of the Builders competition. Hopefully, hopefully by then the channel will have reached 200,000 subscribers. If not, this is going to be awkward, <laughs> but we'll deal with it. <laughs> On January 1st, the submission channels in the Discord will close and that's when the judging process begins. Now, who will decide on the winners? Mostly me, not gonna lie, mostly me. I will pick all of the winners for the small categories. So if you wanna play strategically, you, you know what kind of park builds I like, so play into that if you wanna play strategically. However, I hope that you will just sincerely submit whatever you think is your best build. However, for the full park category, I'm not gonna leave the decision fully to me. It's gonna be a little bit different. I will pick two finalists for both the console, PC unmodded and PC modded branches of this category, two park builds that I think would both be worthy of the title, and then a public vote on the Discord will decide who will win each title. So even if you don't plan to compete, I'd still recommend joining the Discord so you can at least vote and decide who will be the winner. Final question, I hope, when will the video with all of the winners be released? I know you want me to say January 2nd, but I can't say that. How long it takes to pick the winners and make the video depends on how many submissions there are to go through. The last two times when the channel was much smaller, it already took me a couple of weeks to sort through everything, decide on the winners and then make the video. I hope you understand that it is a long process and of course I want to make sure that I go through every submission carefully. So the best answer I can give you is make sure you are subscribed so you won't miss the video when it comes. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, good luck builders.